wrestling is a combat sport. Adeline Gray here in women's freestyle. For the last two and a half years, I've been undefeated. Three-time world champion, including the past two years. I'm the number one girl in the world. Adeline Gray, 25 years old, native of Colorado. When I step on the mat, those lights turn on. So devastating. The whistle blows. Just too easy of a takedown right there. And I have a switch that turns on, and I know how to win. Can and I? that'll do it. Adeline Gray. America's best chance for a gold medal. She's as good as it gets right now. <laughs> to be able to call myself an Olympian means so much to me, and I mean, it's an amazing feeling. I started wrestling when I was six. My dad was really the person who got me into it and got me excited about it. She was just hyper constantly and she had to be doing something uh, physical. Wrestling seemed to be a natural fit. It was something he knew and loved and I just was able to go out there and, and execute some moves and have him be my coach and, and kind of reel me in when all the other kids were playing around. At the end of the year, she won the state championship at six. So she had early, early success, which probably cemented her love for the sport. It was great to have that father-daughter relationship just building from the age of six all the way into high school and just enjoyed having him around. In high school, I ran cross country and played soccer and I wrestled. I didn't really consider myself like a wrestler. It was like my secondary sport for a long time. I thought I was a soccer player when I was growing up. I thought I was gonna play four years of varsity soccer and then go on to the university level and, and just really excel there and, and then be done with my athletic career. But it was kind of an option of, do you wanna travel with wrestling or do you wanna be on an elite soccer team? And, and you can't really do both on uh, a police officer's budget with four daughters. If we were going to stay in soccer, you're competing against millions of girls to, for those soccer scholarships. Where in wrestling, there's only a handful of girls that are really doing this. I chose wrestling kind of in that mid-high school range and ended up being the best thing in my life. I wrestled boys from the age of six years old all the way through the middle of high school. They all just accepted them as athletes. And at that age, you didn't really see that much difference between the kids as far as physical and whatnot. People are always really funny because they're like, isn't it weird to wrestle a boy? I'm like, uh, no, it's not. Because <laughs> I was six years old when I got thrown on the mat and, and it was the status that I was trying to be treated as an athlete when I stepped on that mat. In middle school, we started seeing a little pushback from some parents. We'd hear the comments about, oh, I teach my boy not to hurt girls and stuff. I had a great support system that any time that someone forfeit against me, they were like, oh, it's just a bye, don't worry about it, you're moving on in the tournament. And, and any time we had any bigotry towards the situation, uh, my parents kept it very positive and, and let me focus on wrestling. She's a girl, she's beating boys, and when they come out on the mat and then all of a sudden you get grabbed by Adeline, it's like, oh, holy cow, I'm in a fight, and you better be fighting for the win because, you know, she's going <laughs> to take you down and take care of business. I did start competing against females in um, mid to late high school, and at that point, I think my parents were really the ones who kind of had a little bit of... Uh, people poking them and being like, hey, this is you know a real thing, like she can actually go on and, and pursue this sport. You know, at 17, she won the Junior World Championship. We knew right there, you know, she has a chance to do something later on down the road, but then she made the senior team, world team the very next year. And this is way more than I anticipated as far as the level of success she's had and the fast as she's had it. Gold medal match. Ray settles off on the sweep, elevates the leg. That's it! And that's a U.S. victory! Women's freestyle wrestling got put into the Olympics in 2004. Oh, there. Good throw for Gray. We have two three-minute periods. Both of them are on our feet. Gray takes her down. And it's an awesome, just kind of combat, imposing your legal will on somebody else. She has that innate ability. When the lights are on, the pressure's on, you know, and it's just her. 
She steps on that mat, she turns into a totally different focus. Because you came all the way here, and then you're here. I love it. I love the, the grit of it. I love the fact that people get to go out there and prove that, that they're the dominant athlete or put in more work and more dedication into, into that moment. We're not going out there to smell blood and try to kill people like an MMA or anything. It's, it's a little more pure and just when we get to go out there and just execute what athleticism we have on that mat. That idea that you can have a dream and have it be planted and, and work towards that dream and then have those dreams come true is, is amazing. I live at the Olympic Training Center full time. I eat, sleep, and breathe wrestling, and now I'm advocating for, for young girls to kind of have that dream sooner. I don't know if our culture really fosters girls to have those big dreams, and I just want more girls to be able to dream about that. I live an amazing life right now, and, and all girls should be able to kind of strive for that moment. And I know how important my dream is of winning Olympic gold and how often that drives me to do something better with my life. That dream keeps me on track, and it keeps me driving, and makes me a better person. She's number one in the world right now. I think she has that confidence of going in there. I, I know I can win, and she does and know exactly what it's going to take to win gold and, and to be on top of the world when it comes to August time, so I'm excited.